Creating and Managing Users To have a person join the service, you must create a user account for them. After the user account has been created, you can assign cases to the user. To add a new user, go to the Configuration section, click on the Users tab on top, then click on the plus icon on the right and select the user entity type. You'll have to give them a username first, which is their email address. This is a mandatory field. Enter the first and last name of the user next. This is the information that will be used when searching the users section, so make sure the information is accurate and is the person's actual name. Nicknames are not recommended. To add a user to any of the existing user groups on the system, click on the plus icon above the groups list and put a check mark next to any groups you wish the user to be a member of. A user can be a member of multiple groups, and they do not have to relate to the department the user belongs to. For information purposes, you can enter the user's identification number in the Officer ID field. This is not a searchable field. Each user can have a maximum of two phone numbers assigned to them. These fields are also not searchable. The status of a user can be set to active or inactive. Users who are inactive are still searchable. A user's type can either be a regular user or a guest. Guest users are unable to perform searches in the system and can only view the cases assigned to them. Regular users have full access to the service, but the configuration section is only available to users who are members of the Tenant Administrator group. You can add a picture of the user to help in identification. If this user has been assigned a device, such as a body-worn camera, you can associate the device with the user in the Devices section. The device must be activated within the service before you can assign it to a user. Click on Save and the user account is created, and the user will receive an invitation email. To edit a user, go to the Users tab of the Configuration section, and enter any partial name or email address information to search for in the Search field on top. Hit Enter or click on the magnifying glass to display the search results. Click on a user to edit the user's information. All the fields that were present when creating the user can be modified. Under the Groups list, if you wish to remove the user from a specific group, click on the X next to the group name. Click on the plus above the group list to add the user to other groups. The pop-up window will only show groups the user is not currently a member of. Put a checkbox next to any groups you wish to add the user to, and click on the Add button on the bottom to save the changes. Click Cancel or the X on the top of the window to abort the operation and keep the user's current group list. Click on the plus icon in the Devices section to associate a new device with this user, or click on the X next to an existing device to remove it from the user's devices list. If a user has forgotten their password, you may be able to reset it for them. This is only applicable if the user is not managed by Active Directory. For Active Directory user accounts, they will need to contact their system administrator for assistance. To reset a password, browse to a user as we saw in the previous steps, and from the user's information page, click on the Reset Password button on the top right corner of the screen. The user will receive an email with instructions for resetting their password.